If you're looking for a small tough Chromebook that not only supports a stylus but actually comes with one, then you might want to have this machine on your list. It's the Lenovo 500e second gen. I'm going to take you through all you need to know about this machine, kicking off with an unboxing. If you follow the channel on Twitter, you'll have seen right now you can buy this machine in the UK for just £150 from Lenovo. That's about $200. US Even better, if you have access to a corporate discount site like Perks at Work, that price will come down to £135, about $181. US If you've seen a particular good deal on this machine in your region, please do leave a comment down below. That can really help others out if they're looking to buy. So let's get some of the boring bits out of the way. There's the UK wall plug. And then you've got a charging brick to follow, as you'd expect, 45 watts with a USB-C connection that you can charge on either side of the Chromebook. Specs-wise, this machine has got the Intel Celeron N4120 processor, 32 gig of storage and 4 gig of RAM. So a kind of standard um, entry-level mid-range Chromebook there. It's going to be fine to handle whatever you're throwing at it in terms of multiple tabs and apps. Uh, this paperwork you're really not going to need, so let's get rid of that. And then let's get into the machine itself. So the initial thing you notice is the weight of the machine. So it's about 2.88 pounds, about 1.3 kilograms. Not the lightest, um, but it is sort of distributed fairly well in there. You've got that textured top to it, similar to on the Asus that I re reviewed recently. And then on the right hand side, you've got your ports on the far right, the Kensington lock port, USB-C, USB-A, power button and a physical volume rocker and then right at the front there on the left you've got the stylus so it's a plastic stylus um, comes garaged in the machine as you've seen and obviously works with it so that's going to allow you to draw take notes um, doodle whatever you like with that on the machine um, it feels pretty cheap but it does do the job and it is fairly smooth but there it is it's a decent size as well it's probably good for small hands to grip so I don't think kids are going to have any problem in using that um, at the front there's a slight lip and a bit of an edge to lift the lid which is nice just makes it easier you've got that texture to finish on the bottom as well and then on the left hand side you've got USB-C again USB-A micro SD card slot and a headphone jack there as well so looking at the bottom of the machine, um, so you can note the Phillips screws that are there. It's fairly easy to get into. By the right hand side middle one there is a small hole, looks like a water drain for the spill resistant keyboard. And then you've got the speakers either side, bottom right, and also over there on the bottom left. I'll give you a demo of those in just a bit. And then otherwise, let's have a look inside at that keyboard deck, that spill resistant keyboard, as we say, and the screen. Um, you've also got the two cameras in here, the one in the traditional position at the top of the screen and then the world facing one you'll see in a minute. And you've got the uh, the touchpad, of course. Now, this one um, was a bit loose and I was quite annoyed at receiving a brand new machine with a loose touchpad, but I was able to get inside and adjust that without too much problem. Um, but not recommended if you've received the machine brand new yourself you're probably going to want to send that back if you're not happy with it there's that world facing camera i'll give you a demonstration of that as well in just a bit i'll just show you briefly here with these strengthened hinges how you can fold the screen all the way back to put it into tablet mode now when you do that it does disable the keyboard and it does put the screen into the tablet ui mode you can see it's going to be a bit chunky so it's not ideal um, it's not as good as android either but it's nice to have the option the touch screen is really nice, so it's an 11.6 inch HD screen, so a max res of 1366 by 768. It is IPS, so it's got good viewing angles and it claims about 250 nits of brightness, so it does get fairly bright. Um, and as you can see here, it's got a glossy finish to it. Um, Multi-touch, but of course supporting that pen as well, which is really the main selling point here. And using that stylus really does feel pretty smooth, as you can see in the video. It's also worth mentioning at this point that this Chromebook is going to see updates to Chrome OS all the way through to the AUE date of June 2026. For the overall build quality as well as that loose trackpad I had in mind that was hopefully a one-off, I did notice in the top of the screen there's just a bit more flex than I'd expect, certainly more than I found on the Asus Flip C214. Um, and then also on the top of the machine with this rubber texture, I have noticed it will pick up scratches and that was actually similar on the Asus. Um, I'm not even sure how I picked those up, but it was maybe when I had it upside down when I was working on it to get in and fix that trackpad. 
And with that, taking a look at the keyboard and trackpad, they're both a decent size. They've both got a good layout. There's a nice feel to them both. Not quite as good as the experience on the Flex 3i, for example, but bear in mind that this is a more rugged, durable design than it is that spill resistant keyboard. Here's a bit of audio of me typing and tapping and clicking on the trackpad to give you an idea. And just to give you a comparison between this and the layout on the Asus Flip C214, you are certainly getting the larger trackpad on the Lenovo. Next, let's test out those speakers positioned on the bottom of the machine. I'll play you the outro from my review of the Flex 5i. I'll link that video in the description so you can go and compare it. Highly recommended. If you liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do consider a subscribe to the channel. Cheers. So in summary, pretty tinny, pretty loud. I think it's what you'd expect at this price point. Now, I also ran a battery drain test between the Asus and the Lenovo, and no surprises, they both lasted extremely well. So on this kind of slow drain of playing YouTube video or medium sound and brightness, they got to over 13 and a half hours out of both of them. The Lenovo won it just, but only by an extra nine minutes, and it was a pretty unscientific test in all regards. So I'd say excellent battery life. Um, you can easily expect over 10 hours out of the Lenovo when you're using it for day-to-day -day usage that's certainly what I'm seeing and it's kind of in line with what they claim so yeah excellent machine for battery life as mentioned this Lenovo has two cameras so you've got the regular camera if you like on top of the screen which is just a 0.9 megapixel camera and it'll give you 720p video and then you've got that better camera that's positioned at the top of the keyboard deck but of course becomes the rear world facing camera when you flip it into tablet mode so typically if you want to show somebody what's going on when you're on a video call it's a bit like the rear camera on your phone that is the better camera it's 5 megapixel and it'll give you 1080p HD video so let's start with an example of a photo from that front camera and then I'll show you a bit of video from that as well so just showing you a video of the Asus that I recently reviewed and have mentioned a few times on this review and then let's give you a example photo from that better rear camera and then again a similar video from it of that Asus just for comparison Overall, I think this is a great Chromebook for the kids if you want them to have something a bit tougher and something they can draw on using the stylus. But I do think you need to compare it to that Asus Flip C214 that I've mentioned a few times in this video. So click here to check out my video review on that and decide which may be best for you. And please do give a thumbs up for a like if this video has been useful and do consider a subscribe. Cheers.